Hi everybody, it's Michelle and welcome to A Day in the Life with me. Today's video we will be doing the second look from the wheel using the She's Got Solstice palette. Here are the colors. Just to remind you, there's no mirror on this one, which is fine. So without further ado, I do have all of my base makeup on and I am going to flip the camera around, zoom you in so you can see what I am doing. Okay, so I think I have the camera set up properly. I did wash all of my brushes, my eye brushes, a few days ago. All of them except for the ones that I forgot were in the box uh, for my February thing. <laughs> okay, so I am... I think I'm going to start out with Nova. That's this color right here. I'm not even sure. I'm not going to show them because I have no idea what you guys can see. So I'm just going to start with Nova and I am going to just put that all over the lid. I'm using a fluffy brush. This is from uh, Alamar. And I am just putting this all over the lid. I'm still getting used to the darker Becca foundation. I'm going to do a review on that at the end of the month. Just because I'm not sure I'm going to be, I don't know what to do with it. Okay, and next I'm going to go in with Earth Angel. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not cleaning it off or anything. It's like a dusty pink. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. This look is probably just going to be simple um, because I do have an appointment this afternoon. So I don't want to go too hog wild crazy. So I think I'm going to leave it with just those two colors. Hopefully I'm in frame. Again, I apologize. And I am going to use Mars. It's like a green color. And just put that here in the inner corner. See, I didn't call it the beginning this time. Add a little bit more and then I will go back in with that brush and make it so that the edges aren't so strict like blur out the edges okay what did I, oh, I put the brush back in there I'm gonna go back in with earth angel again and just Try to smooth out these edges. My gosh, this eye. All right, and then I'm going to take this Fera brush. It's called the Fly Wing brush. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep showing you. No idea if it's even in frame. I'm going to take that same Earth Angel and pull it across almost all the way through my lower lash line. Brush as much as I can. I'm going to go in with Mars. And these I will have listed, like the photo, sorry about that. The photos um, listed somewhere around my head. See if I can get that to go into the inner corner and under that lash, beginning part of the lash line here. Okay, so I am going to clean everything up. I'm going to put on some liner, mascara, and a lip, and I will be back momentarily. Okay, so here is the finished look. I will have zoomed in photos of what it looks like. <laughs> I will insert them here at the end. Um, I do want to show you that I used my black Urban Decay 24-hour eyeliner, the Manicadar Mile High Mascara, which is my mascara for my project pan for February. And then I used the Appeal Gel Liner in Next Level. It's not going to work. 
anyway it's this one and then the Jeffree Star Shockwave gloss again the liner I just lined my lips put the gloss on and it did this magic <laughs> oh sorry about hitting that so like I said here's the finished look it this foundation I do want to say a little bit so it's this Becca foundation and it is the ultimate coverage 24 hour and I have it in the shade Casava C-A-S-S-A-V-A -S -S -A. anyway that's the color that I have and as you can see it is dark um, but when it comes out here let me pump some out of my hand shake it up really good shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a and then watch see it's so thick like it is so so thick and as you can see it's not my shade which is fine you know I have lighteners but it's so thick that it just ugh, ugh. like I usually only put in the one dot of the foundation and then like two or three drops because as you can see this is a lot lighter two or three drops of this and usually mix it up and then have to add more of this just to lighten it and I still don't know I feel like you can see let me move this a little let me get rid of some sunlight here there I feel like you can see a line no matter how much I blend I don't know see that adds a lot more sunshine <laughs> So this is the look. I'm actually filming this on, what day is this? The day it's going up. So I'm filming this on Thursday. I have a appointment, a video appointment with my rheumatologist today, which is why I didn't want to do anything crazy. Um, it's just over the phone, so. I mean, one good thing about this foundation is it does last. Like I put it on my hand and rubbed it out and I'm using these, um, makeup remover pads from Elmay um, that my best friend Jennifer's sister got for me a while back and they work really good for the days that I don't want to use the um, pomade that I got from BoxyCharm the pharmacy very cherry clean sorry um, when I don't want to use that all over my face or if I'm just trying to do different eye looks and everything else is staying the same I'll use those just to take the eye makeup off um, but yeah like as I'm looking in the mirror I can see like a harsh line like I, I barely put on any browns well you can't tell sorry I barely put on any bronzer with this because it just I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna take some close-up photos put this edit this together and get it out for you guys and tomorrow is Friday so you'll have a shop miss a haul um, that I'll be posting tomorrow and then I think Saturday I have a video going up then I won't see you guys again until Tuesday so there's that let me know what you think of this eye look um, about the foundation do you have like a secret of how to make it so it's not so thick and chunky the found the Becca foundation um, I mean that was a pretty that's probably the one that I spent the most on um, even though it was from a boxy pop-up I don't normally spend like that much on a foundation so let me know in the comments below and as always please make sure you are subscribed ring that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload and give this video a thumbs up leave me a positive comment below and as always please remember to be kind to one another and know you are loved you are appreciated you are important